Hi, everybody. It's Cindy with Getting Artsy with Cindy. Uh, thanks for joining me on Monday nights to do a little demo. Hope you guys had a fantastic weekend. Um, ours, ours was great. Uh, the Kansas City Chiefs won this weekend, which was fun. Nice to have that happening around here. We're going to, um, I'm going to show you a little bit about this die. This is our single greeting die and it coordinates with this stamp set. And a lot of people have been asking kind of, what do you do with that? How does it work? Because it's not like all of your other stamp and die combinations where you just stamp something and take one little word die and cut that one out. Um, it's a little bit different. And so I kind of wanted to demo that with you guys today. What's kind of fun about this stamp set, it's got so many different word combinations in it. And I also have a lot of double layered word dies. Like we have cheers, we have um, hello and thanks where, where you, it's just two dies that, you know, you've got the word and then the shadow that die cut, to, die cut together. Um, but they're a little bit bigger. This set is kind of made for um, a little more subtle mention on your cards. And I, so I kind of wanted to give you guys some um, examples of that first before we jump in and get started. So here's one, again, this is a standard A2 size card. So you can kind of see the size of this so that you just have this nice little subtle happy birthday. Um, this was originally just stamped happy birthday from the stamp set. But if you really wanted to punch a little bit more, it is kind of nice that you could pop it up. So I just wanted to give you the, you know, kind of see the, how that fits together. Um, here's another really fun one. So see how the little just cheers is pot, uh, popped up off of that little wine tag. I thought that was really cute. And then here's just another example. This is one of the elf cards that we did in one of our Monday nights. And um, I just wanted to show you again how just adding that little believe word just popped up there is kind of a nice little added touch. So again, this is kind of a fun stamp set. Many of you probably already have the set, but maybe not the die yet, because we didn't have the die right away. So let's show you what we did do, and then I'm gonna show you some easy ways to cut these out. Okay, so again, here's our die. Our die is all one piece. You can see the, hole, the holes are cut out, and it matches the stamp. But to um, to line these up, since all these words are different, we're gonna I'm gonna show you three different ways to do this. The first and easiest way is we're gonna you do the stamp first method, where you just stamp the set or stamp the word the only you know the individual word that you want, stamp it on a small piece of paper, and then you're just gonna take your die and you're going to line it up with the word celebrate so you can see the word through there so you would line that up and then put your post-it note ah okay hold on okay line it up put the post-it note on there and then run that through your die cutting machine. And then that's going to give you, after you cut it out, it's gonna just cut that word out perfectly. So that's really simple, right? You just stamp, lay your die on and cut it out and you have one word ready to go, easy peasy. Okay, now a couple other ways to do it if you want um, to get, to be able to do a little bit more, this is dropping, what we do is drop it into a template. So first you need to create a template. So if you take a piece of cardstock, um, just that's a little bit heavier and I cut this to four and a half by six and a half, then I'm going to lay this die on it. 
and I'm going to position it. For me, I am positioning it on the far right and bottom corner. And just, you really want it to be exactly right on the edge. And then I'm going to draw a line here, a line here. And then you would also tape it down because you don't want it to wiggle. So right on the edge. And then this template is something that you can keep in your, um, in your sleeve that keeps that holds your die and your stamp. So you're going to take that, run this through your uh, die cutting machine, and you end up with this. So this becomes my template. I just wrote template on it. I'm going to keep it in my folder. Um, giving, if you you know, by putting some space above and below, it gives me something to hold on to and keeps us a little sturdier. So I kind of wrote out what you would do. So if you want to take a screenshot or just slow down and write this down later, we took our heavy cardstock and cut it four and a half by six and a half. You're going to line up the word die to the bottom right corner. You're going to draw your lines. That gives you, a, um, that's your finished template that you can keep with you at all times. Then, um, then you're going to use the die to cut one or all of the words out of plain stock. So you're going to, what I did was I took, I took my die. I took a scrap piece of paper, just, you know, scrap piece of cardstock and say, I want to use, I want to do birthday. I'm just going to line that up. Don't really even need to tape it down or anything. I'm, I'm, the key is the word birthday, and I'm going to run that through the machine. So run that through the machine. And I'm going to, here's our little word, birthday. Then I'm going to stamp on a scrap piece of paper. just going to stamp again. This is just my scrap paper. Then Here it is. Okay, so here's another birthday one. Again, if you're gonna, you could cut a whole bunch of those out and then you could go in and drop that in. And then when I stamp, there. Now, see that one was perfect because I took my time. I wasn't trying to speed along. But see, then that actually dropped in and it lined up perfectly. So again, as long as you have your paper in the right place when you stamp your sample, then you could go in and put, put a whole bunch in and stamp it over and over and over again. All right, so that is another way to do it. Okay, then for the next one, Say you want to actually have a ton of these, like stamp them, stamp a whole bunch of these. Like you're gonna, you wanna get a whole collection already pre-stamped and cut out um, and just have a whole pile of, of words or something, then this is the way to do it. You would start by putting your template down Again, we did it in the very far right and far bottom. So you're gonna line this up, use, again, be, because we gave it some extra room, this whole lets you keep it in place. Okay, then you would take 
your stamps and you would drop it. So I would drop the birthday in here. And I, what I think is easiest to do is, let me bring this up to you guys. Um, if, if you drop it in and then push it to the bottom, you're going to feel it stop because it's getting stuck on the edge. And then by when you have it in position, you could then, if you're looking straight over it, um, just push it up just a little bit more so that you're, that you know you're centered in that spot. Then you go like this and you push it down and you could do that for each of these. So your positioning, instead of this being one set, and again, you're not gonna wanna do this every time, but you can position these so that they're already in there. And then you could move this out of the way and stamp a bunch of colors. You're gonna just make sure you're all the way to the left and all the way to the bottom. You can ink that up, stamp. And so what I did was I stamped a whole bunch of them. You could do it on different colors. Again, you do this one time, then you can go ahead and stamp all these. Then you would take your die and since you know that you went all the way to the right and the bottom, you could take this and line it up right along that edge. And you can see, you can see the words through there. Then you can tape this down. And just make sure you are positioned exactly where you need to be. Then you can go ahead and line this, put this on here. Make sure it didn't move. that out of the way and then yeah I'm gonna run it through one more time and then that is going to give you all these little words all ready to go we can use them at any different time Again, I keep them in a little bag, which is, where did I put the little bag? Yeah, yeah, so we have, so again, I just keep all, me, all these extra little words in a bag in my stamp, like I'll keep them in the back of here and then I can grab them if I want to. So again, if you want to do a whole bunch because you know you're going to use these all the time, then that is another great way to do it where you're doing a whole bunch. Um, for me, I never know what I'm going to do. So the single, just that very first single approach works for me. So I just wanted to give you guys a lot of options on how to do that. And that is that die. And again, I think you're going to enjoy all those little words. Now, while I was um, while I was doing this, I was pulling out that. So that's it for the little demo on how that die works. That is it. It was just a shorter, shorter time with you guys today. Um, be sure and check out our artsy community if you guys have any fun little. Um, tips around that you get you know kind of shortcuts and stuff um, it's kind of fun to share them in there i hope you guys like this fun short little demo today hope you guys have an awesome week i dare you to be artsy and we will see you guys again next monday so bye for now